Uh, Andrew Blick. Hello and welcome to your first edition of the Indralic Pulse. I'm Airman First Class Cambria Gross. And I'm Senior Airman Scott Taylor. We're going to be going around to Indralic and showing you some of the cool things that you can do during your tour here to make it a little more fun. Yeah, and what better way to do that than to start out with some guns. Absolutely. You know, just because this is a hardship tour over here in Turkey, it doesn't mean that you have to leave that Second Amendment spirit back at home in America. And Indralic has a lot to offer when it comes to guns. So we're going to start out here today at CADM where we're going to learn how we use guns on duty. Seven. Shoot, move, communicate is a sustainment type firing that we do between our five to seven month mark. It's to make sure that we're still ready to go as far as our firing goes every single year. And it's good training for when we actually do have an adversary being an insolent air base. And I want to grab that barrel behind the air. It's a way for our defenders to come out and they keep their weapons qualifications going, but they also get to practice moving within a firefight and talking to each other. It's just a lot of teamwork. We go with two-man teams and four-man teams. Move it! Go ahead and put them all in the window of that trailer. Window of the trailer? Window of the trailer. Cover my move. Moving. Moving, cover my move. Moving. Good. You know, normally the only thing I shoot with is a camera, <laughs> but do you know, it's good training. I like it. We need our training. We gotta have it to be ready to fight. Also, the bullet environment, if we get indirect fire, the threat is real. We have to use whatever covering the sound we can to get to the threat, eliminate the threat, and make sure that the base is safe. Do you want to be security forces? You better be ready, because it takes a lot. You got here to do a job, and when you're done, you're gonna make sure you knew you made a difference here. So one thing that Americans and Turks definitely have in common is their love for guns. And Turkey has a lot of high quality shotguns. We're here right outside the gate at the Silver Eagle. Let's take a look inside. All right, we're here at the Silver Eagle. I have Jimmy Agilic, the owner of the shop. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the history of guns in Turkey? The history of shotguns in Turkey dates back nearly a century, and the Hulu shotgun is the oldest shotgun brand in Turkey. What makes them special is the fact that they're all handmade, and the people who make them own the company. So Turkey is renowned for its quality shotguns, and this store definitely demonstrates that. I mean, you can just see in the quality of these things. This takes months to, to manufacture. It's incredible, the, the detail and the intricacy and all of it. It's no wonder that a lot of Americans already come here. The store walls are filled with photos of American customers. Not surprising, since their shipping process makes it easy to buy and get the guns delivered to the states. We have a store in Texas, Dallas Beauport. I ship the shotgun first to my place, then he shipped any gun store stay. Has to be shipped to the dealer, not for the house. Simply put, once you purchase the shotgun, they'll send it to a licensed gun dealer in Texas, and then they'll send it to a gun shop closest to the address you specify. Someone you trust can pick it up for you, or you can pick it up when you get back to the States. Just don't forget to see pass and registration first process is they're going to get all the relevant information from the shotgun, the make, model, serial numbers. They're going to take that information, bring it into pass registration, and we have two separate forms that they're going to fill out and uh, route through their chain of command. We are thanking you to come and uh, give this opportunity to make this presentation. Uh, we are giving service uh, to Injilic Airbase the uh, last 15 years, and we will be happy to uh, serve this uh, base again. We are waiting all of you here. Excellent, very cool. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on Angelic. Let's go over to Airman First Class Cambria Grossa to see how you can have a little bit of fun with some guns. So the best part about owning a weapon is getting to fire it. And today we're using a 12-gauge shotgun. There we go. Oh, I got it. Oh, I just broke it. <laughs> Got it for a second. This this I have to oh. Oh. Oops. 
Yes. Oh, All right. Now that we have our weapon put together, let's go meet one of the shooters. All right, we're out here with my good friend Bender. The cool thing is, it's his first time shooting at the range. Bender, how do you feel? A little bit nervous, but pretty excited. Pretty excited. How many do you think you're gonna hit? Hopefully all of them. All right, let's see how he does. I'm sure your guns will work just fine. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's no way ever. <laughs> Like little clay pigeon like this way, should leave it from. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> both, both of them is good. <laughs> what was your favorite part? Pretty much the uh, kickback you would get from the uh, using the gun. Um, I didn't think it was going to be as strong as it was, but it definitely uh, is uh, strong and anticipated. Oh. All right, that does it for this edition of The Pulse. I hope you guys learned a little bit about Turkish guns and what you can do with them on base. Absolutely. I'm Scott Taylor. I'm Cambria Gross. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey. 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 Hey